Good evening. Hi. Hello. I can see all the people on here. Hi, Laura Lou. Hi, Chrissy. Hello from South Africa. Wow, that's awesome. Hello, everyone who's here on this Monday. Uh, Michelle R. Price, the light worker, doing uh, angel card readings, oracle card, a little bit of mediumship if required. If there's anything in particular that you would like, um, you know, health, healing, relationships. Hello, my darling Elsie. Hello. Um, oh, Hayley, that's exciting. Elsie and Haley, I'm popping you down. Now, I uh, get on nice and early, and I do say this every week. If you get on nice and early, then uh, I have a bit more time to connect with you um, as opposed to a bit later. Um, Haley Marie was asking around uh, coaching personal development career. Personal development, beautiful. And Elsie was just after a card. So, going to do a card for Elsie. So if there is anything specific, uh, let me know. I do anything and everything. There's nothing, um, you know, that I kind of don't look at. Um, but, yeah, I do like to do a bit of health, healing, that sort of thing. Um, oh, there are comments on my page. I'm uh, posting across to my page as well. I like to cross-post to Michelle R. Price, the light worker. So if you haven't liked my page, there's a link in this post. You can click on that and uh, head to my page and like it. Um, this is just in today. Laura Lou, yep, I'll put you down. Um, Laura Lou Blondie, hang on, uh, stay tuned because I do like to get feedback in terms of whether or not I am on track as well. Um, so just looking at general for Laura Lou, unless there's anything specific. Um, so he hello to everyone who's watching on my page. Um, and if you haven't liked it already, you might want to, because we do group life readings and cool stuff on there. Um, I have a private group as well. You can, uh, join that. If you feel the need, um, I've also got my kid cards. So if you've got children watching tonight, I might just move my camera down. Um, if you've got children watching tonight, let me know. And I'm happy to sort of draw some cards around them as well. Um, Lorraine Townsend, health, looking around health. going to put you down on my list. Lorraine Townsend, putting you down around health. Now, I am going to start some readings and I am clairvoyant. So I do close my eyes a fair bit. Um, Dave, hello. Absolutely. Um, Dave, I will put you down on my list, so stay tuned. Um, he's watching on my page at the moment. So if I mention names and you can't see the person, um, then that's why, because I'm uh, cross-posting onto my page. All right, um, so I'm going to get into it. I will close my eyes, um, and if you want to connect with me, there is a link in the post, and you can click that. Uh, and... Shazza, is the troll still on there? Shazza's saying I've got a troll, but I think I blocked the troll. Um, so it could be, should be good. I can't see them recently. So Shazza, just check that. I did block them. Um, so they shouldn't be able to comment anymore. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. All right. So Elsie, uh, let's come in. Um, oh, that's awesome. Danny, love that. Your surname looks familiar, Danny. I think one of your, um, one of your rallies might have been on here because that surname is uh, quite uncommon. Um, and I have seen that surname before, would be great. Uh, General, Danny, I'm, you're on my list, so don't go anywhere, stay tuned. Now, if you do miss your reading, if you do get a reading and you miss it, that's okay, don't stress. Um, you can watch it back after the show, um, so that's not a problem at all. Um, Elsie, I'm gonna use fairies with you. Um, I do like to use fairies with Elsie. I'm just gonna draw a card or two for Elsie. Now, I'm gonna close my eyes, so if you um, have anything in particular you would like me to see, um, please just repost or copy and reshare. I'm not ignoring anyone. Um, and I don't go in any particular order. It's just at the time, wherever I'm drawn to, I will come to. So I'm just going to uh, close my eyes. I'm just going to have a look at little um, Elsie there and see what I need to know. Whoa, about Elsie face down. Now, my intention when you see cards flying out is for the cards to be face up. Um, that's just my intention. That's the way that I read. Um, so if you see me putting cards back, that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going to uh, come into Elsie's energy, just see what I need to know here and uh, draw some cards. Um, Elsie, quite vibrant, vibrant at the moment. Um, all through solar plexus, quite activated. It feels quite nice, but vibrant um, is the word. Okay. I want to say sort of energized, charged up. Um, like energized. Um, just going to have a look at these fairy cards. One of the things I do feel LC is like clearing out though, um, clearing out, getting rid of that sort of thing. It might be good. Having a look at what we don't need anymore. If you're already doing it, fantastic. That's confirmation. Uh, wow. Okay. 
Uh, walking away is in the past, that's leaving an unhealthy situation. It can be uh, people that aren't, aren't good for us, um, uh, work, you know, all those sorts of things. But it's walking away from an unhealthy situation, making the choice uh, to move on from that. Now, that's probably going to make a bit of sense for you, love. It's going to be, make a bit of sense. Elsie is uh, expecting. So uh, the pregnancy card in the present, uh, beautiful and pink um, and feminine. So good. Now moving forward, be yourself. Authentic. Doesn't matter. You don't have to live up to anyone else's expectations. We know what that's about. Um, you're just doing this for yourself. Yeah. Authentic. You're fine. You're good as you are. Um, and exercise. So we want to do a bit of movement. Now it's probably not the first thing or the top of the thing on your list of things to do, but it does feel like getting the energy moving around your body would be good. Um, and that will obviously help, you know, down the track. So exercise for you. Walking away makes a bit of sense. It's like staying away from the people that, you know, don't necessarily lift our vibrations. Yeah. Um, so that's good. Good cards for you, friend. Um, Hayley Marie, uh, coaching personal development. I'm going to use life purpose for Hayley Marie because she's asking about uh, coaching, you know, life purpose, that sort of thing. So I'm definitely, yes, yes, yes. Elsie's excited. We are, yes. Um, Amanda Orchard, hello, darling. Family issues, will they resolve? Amanda, you caught my attention. Let me just put you down on my list. Amanda's watching on my page, Michelle Price, the light worker. Amanda, please stay tuned um, because I will draw cards for you around that. Um, beautiful. Um, thank you, everyone who is watching. Grace is tuning in, asking around relationships. Current partner, um, share with me surrounding my relationship. Uh, Grace Strilo, popping you on my list. Strilo, and that's just around relationship at the moment. Now, perfect. All right, so um, anyone else who needs anything, let me know what you're after. Hayley, you are on my list. Um, anyone else who's watching? Whoa, mama. Um, let me know what you need now. Um, we are coming to uh, career with Hayley Marie, uh, coaching and personal development. So um, Hayley, let me just have a look at that for you. Just going to come into your energy. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Um, okay, just going to close my eyes. So if you have a comment or a question or query, um, reshare and I'll have a look at that in a second. Hayley Marie, just going to come into your energy and just see what's going on there. Um, Hayley, I do feel a bit nervous in your energy, to be honest. Um, that's sitting in solar plexus. I do feel a bit um, kind of nervous, a uh, bit of a, you know, knot in my stomach, something like that, um, as I come into your energy. I also feel like I need a bit of a um, kind of a pick-me-up, but what it feels like is um, like fruit juice or something, whether it's like the natural sugars or something like that. Um, but I feel like that, like I need a bit of a pick-me-up. Um, but it's coming up as like a fruit juice for me. Uh, feels like morning time as well, so start of the day. Um, so have a think about that and how that resonates. Um, just asking around career, there's a life purpose card. So just going to draw some cards around that. And I almost feel like a bit of a detox, um, you know, some sort of detox, clearing out my system. It's physical for me. Um, so I feel like that's something um, to look at, whether you're doing that, that'd be confirmation. Um, but it feels detox for me, you know, releasing toxic energy, any kind of worry, fear, concern around your business would be good. Um, so let's have a look at what we've got here. Builder is someone who's creating, um, creating what they want. So that's usually someone who, you know, is creating their own business, you know, doing their own thing. Um, it can relate to builders, construction, that sort of thing as well, but it's someone who's sort of creating, uh, doing their own thing. So definitely business, nutrition is there. So that's good confirmation. Um, nutrition is important, I imagine, um, to coaching personal development. Uh, and they were just talking about nutrition with you. So have a think about that detox type thing, um, clearing out, you know, anything toxic in the body, that sort of thing. And maybe working that, if you're not already, working this into um, some advice around nutrition, diet, exercise, Involve, including that, um, I feel like will be good. Uh, but at the moment, it's on you, uh, working with you. Uh, what am I eating? What am I putting in my body? How does it make me feel? Um, really important. But if you pick me up in the morning, uh, animals um, involved with this as well. So whether we're taking our animals to work, um, having animals in my practice, um, it feels like animals for me. So a real connection to um, animals, that's empathic, non-judgment, um, you know, speaking, uh, no speaking, uh, hearing, listening to us, being with us, supporting us. So animals involved in our uh, life purpose so teaching is there all right um, so coaching in other words so it's uh, teaching sharing information that sort of thing it's all there so I'm really happy about that uh, let me have a look around I'm not sure animals fit in nutrition's good because that's what we're talking about it's good confirmation um, but I just want to see um, what we can do with the animals what that's about let me just get some insight 
interestingly, mm, it's not totally about animals, but what I'm going to say is something about positive affirmations. So I feel like, um, you know, positive affirmations, lifting myself up, you know, that sort of thing, raising vibrations, you know, best outlook possible. I feel like that. I feel like I want to raise your vibrations a little bit. Animals are really good, you know, at helping us raise our vibrations. Um, my cat is a healer. You know, she sits on me and purrs and it's like the purring is like a vibration. It's very healing. So I feel like animals are quite healing for you at the moment. It feels like a bit of self-doubt, imposter syndrome, something like that um, is creeping in and that stops the flow. So we want to allow that flow to happen um, and then success. Yeah, it's good. So teaching, it's it's all your purpose. It's all there. Nothing to worry about. Um, we do just need to raise vibrations a little bit. Um, so positive affirmations stuff like that will be helpful um Hayley, thank you my love you are on the right track um just watch the imposter syndrome because it can be crippling um feeling like we're not meant to be here we're not doing the right thing stuff like that um now laura lou Blondie guidance just going to bring up something around uh that for laura lou um if you are just logging on and you have a specific question please let me know um what you are after So Carla is watching. Justine, hello. Hello, Justine. Karen Jones. Now, I won't um, necessarily skip you if I read your uh, name out and then I don't... Um Oh, Julia, I can feel that. And then I don't read for you. It doesn't mean I won't come back to you. Um, it's just that I'm not drawn to you right this second. Um, now, Julia's on my page. Um, hello, Sharon Lee. Hello. Um, sun's left time at 16 in your guidance. Yeah, that's hard, hey? It's hard. A lot of the kids are leaving at the moment if they're at that age. 16-year-old son gone. Is that okay? Let me, uh, I may use kids cards, Julia. So I may um, keep that in the back of my mind, but potentially I'll just highlight that. I may use kids cards for your son because he's 16, you know, still, still a youngster. Um, so yeah, we may have a look at that for you, um, but you're on my list, Julia. So definitely, uh, definitely draw some cards. Uh, Laura Lou Blondie after some guidance. Hi, Donna. Um, and everyone else who is watching tonight, if you want to connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, hi Kate, I saw you today. Um, if there is anyone watching who would like to connect with me, there's a link in this post and, uh, you can click on that and then book now and check my availability. Um, all right. Hello, Carla. Hello, Christian. Um, so as I said, you know, keep posting. I'm going to close my eyes for a sec, but, uh, keep posting and I will come back to you in a second. So Laura Lou Blondie, uh, after some guidance, just going to come there and see what we need to know. These are general goddess guidance cards. So they'll just give me something quite general. So just ask what Laura Lee needs. Um, at the moment, no. So just going to come into your energy, Laura Lou. Laura Lou, as I come into your energy, it does feel a little bit um, stuck for me. It feels a bit resistant, a bit like it's not flowing. Um, this is mostly solar plexus for me, so it's a bit uh, stuck, a bit stuck for me, a bit stagnant. Yeah. Um, Laura Lou, what I want to suggest to you is kind of go outside. I feel like I want to go outside, get some sunshine, get my feet on the earth. It feels a bit um, like there's some residual energy uh, on you. So um, I would like to have a salt bath, you know, something like that um, would be a good cleanser. Um, but I feel like there's some residual energy I want to get off. Sun is good. You know, sun is healing as well. Uh, but I feel like I want to go outdoors for sure with you. Nature. Yes. Good. They're just confirming. I'm um, just going to draw whatever we need to know. So I'm not asking anything specific. It's just whatever you need to know. Um, Laura, Lee, Laura Lou, I do feel like nature and I do feel like um, wild, you know, wild animals. It does feel like, you know, bush, um, you know, um, like out there amongst it. Um, yeah, out in nature. Really, really good for you. Wow, this is cool. Uh, medicine woman is number one um, and that's a healer. So whenever we get medicine woman, it's a natural born healer. So you have healing abilities. Definitely. Um, Ixchel. So uh, natural healer. Um, so we need to do something with that. That's passed into now. Fairness in the present. So sometimes what seems an injustice is actually a blessing, you know, being made redundant, things like that. It all comes together and we're like, wow, that was the best thing ever. So it's about making every choice your own. So if there's something that feels like it's going against you and that someone else is doing something to you, make it your own choice, you know, own that. Um, it's only when we're in resistance, which is what I'm feeling in that solar plexus of yours, where things become a bit harder um, and it's uh, control, it's around control. So I feel like with you, it's about control, letting go of that and everything works out because that's a fairness card. So everything works out, let go of control. Really important. A lot of these are Egyptian, uh, these cards influence. Um, Ishtar is boundary. So it means moving forward, saying no to others' demands on our time and energy if we don't feel like we want to do it. When we do things out of obligation, it's, you know, resentment. We just resent that. So moving forward, it's about you saying no. Yeah, not being a people pleaser, but saying, no, don't want to do it. So we're doing things differently moving forward. Bodies of water is there, and that was uh, kind of the nature element that I was seeing. 
um, out there, forest, wild animals, you know, stuff like that. Um, the body's water is feminine. So going with the flow, there's a little about control for you. So I need you to let go of control. Everything will work out fairly uh, in the present. So um, it is all about control, unfortunately, um, which can be swimming, you know, surrounding yourself with water can actually help you. Yeah, sort that out and release that a little bit. Um, Lorraine Townsend is after something around healing, um, health. So uh, Lorraine, I'm going to use whispers of healing. These are beautiful. Those ones, the watercolor. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Everyone knows I love these. Everyone who has that a reading with me knows I love those cards. Uh, Lorraine Townsend health. Just going to have a look at those. These are whispers of healing. Um, Chrissy. Yeah, that's awesome. Life purpose. Hey, beautiful. Um, Chrissy Williams putting you down on my list. Um, so you're asking around Korea. And uh, that is fabulous. So I'll do life purpose, yeah, that's cool. Um, so Chrissy's watching on my page. If you haven't liked it, you may want to. Um, we do do group readings on there. Um, Laura Lou, hopefully, yeah, that made sense. Beautiful, good, um, hopefully. Um, Chrissy, career life purpose. And uh, yes, if you are on my page or you haven't liked my page, it would be a good idea because we do do, yay, Evette Gobby. Um, we do do group readings. So we've got one coming up on the 19th, which uh, is that this Friday or the Friday after. We're doing group live reading on the 19th. So definitely like my page. And uh, that means you've got, you know, three chances essentially of getting a reading. So it spreads me out a little bit more. Um, Son Eli, yes. Kids cards, yes. Um, so Yvette Bobby, I have written that down. Now you'll have to be a bit patient because you're a little way down the list at the moment. Um, but as long as your son doesn't need to go to bed uh, immediately, we will get to you. So that's not a problem at all. Um, you're on my list. Lorraine Townsend, health, um, fabulous. Uh, health. So we're just going to look at Lorraine Townsend and uh, health at the moment. So just going to come into your energy, Lorraine, and see what I need to know. Um, Lorraine, as I come in, what I actually feel is quite tense up through tops of my shoulders at the moment. It feels like I'm like hunching a little bit, pulling my shoulders up. Um, I feel like I want to do something, either get a massage, you know, shrugging is good, but I feel like I'm holding a lot up here in the top of my shoulders at the moment. I also feel like I've got a bit of a um, headache of some description. There's something going on in my jaw. Now, this can also be uh, either grinding, you know, clenching my teeth, that sort of thing. Sometimes it can be a sign of um, vertigo. You know, I'm not feeling like I'm swaying or anything like that, but I do feel that pain in my jaw and it feels like either tension, I'm clenching, doing something. It's on one side more than the other, so it could even be tooth related. But something in jaw hurting. Uh, tension, head um, and shoulders at the moment. So just going to see what else. Now, I do feel like there's some anger that you're holding on to. Uh, and that would be good to sort of work through the process of sort of breathing that out, releasing. Sometimes you can do breathing out smoke, breathing out dark clouds, you know, gray matter, all of that. So breathing out will be really good. Um, the tops of my shoulders really hurt. And I feel like there's some anger um, that I've been holding on to. So I feel like if we can release some of that, um, that would be really good because that can cause health issues. Yeah, so it can cause a bit of that um, congestion in our bodies. Um, all right, so that's just flipped over. That's mental repetition. That basically means my mind is like a little circuit. It's just going around and around and around and around, um, like a little mouse on a wheel. Um, so repeating, and it means that it's just the same stuff, same stuff, same stuff over and over in my head. So there is a little bit of uh, letting go, a little bit of processing. All of the physical um, has a lot of bearing on the emotional. So whatever we're doing emotionally, it will have an impact eventually on us physically if we haven't processed and dealt with and released. So I feel like that at the moment, it's like a little mouse on a wheel and it's just the same stuff. So a God box would be great, you know, putting down stresses, worries, concerns into a little shoe box, put the lid on it, hide it, and then burn the stuff on a full moon, you know, whatever you feel to do. But I feel like that's really important because it's just going around and around and around in my head and it's not doing you any good. And I feel like I can't rest, you know, properly. Um, and there's a bit of anger in there as well. It's a little bit to sort of process and deal with Lorraine um, and pardon me, um, certainly that can have an impact on us physically. Just want to see if there's anything else you want me to mention. I can feel a lot of tension in the body. Anything else you want to mention? Um, Lorraine, I also feel like I want to move, um, similar to the last person I just spoke to, but I feel like I want to get up and, and do some walking. I don't feel like I want to do a triathlon or anything, but just get up and move. Um, so get up and walk around the house, you know, walk around the block, you know, get up and move. I feel like I want to be a bit more physical um, and it feels like walking, yeah, moving my body because it uses a lot of muscles in the body. It feels good. Um, so I feel like I'm recommending that as well. Okay, so hopefully that made sense. Now, Dave, I don't know if I'll use this particularly for Dave because he is a boy. Um, so Dave, I'm going to use my crystal box collection for you. Um, actually, I might use crystal grid oracle. Let's do that. Dave, we're still just drawing. What do we need to know for Dave? Um, it could be around health or anything, um, but let's see. Let's see. So I'm going to do Dave um, at the moment. 
beautiful. Hello, everyone who's watching on my Michelle Price, the light worker page. Um, Sharon Lee, I thought I put you down. No, I didn't. I must have just said your name. It sounded familiar. Um, Dave, I'm just reading for at the moment. Um, Dave is on my page. Um, Carla, oh, um, Carla, I'll put you down. Um, see if we can get there. Carla has lost a little uh, fur baby, a little animal. Um, fur baby, and she is a she. So we'll see what that is. Let's have a look at that for Carla. Dave Vesta is asking about health at the moment. Hi, Jason. Hello, Jason. You're fabulous. Um, Jason, do you want a card or something? Um, I can see. Hi, Marlene. Um, Jason's popped up. Um, oh, Christian Furla. Christian, is it? Christian Furla. Uh, life purpose. Love that. You've drawn my attention. Furla, life purpose, um, and Jason, let me know if there's anything, because you're a very good supporter of all of us on here in Spiritual Events Directory. So if there's anything that you want, um, please let me know. Um, hello, hello. Oh, Layla's on. Layla's on. Wow, that's awesome, Kate. That's so cool. Um, that's great. Love. Um, okay, I'll do uh, kids' cards for Layla. Layla is on Kate's account, kids. Um, so I've got three kids cards happening at the moment, not right now, but uh, tonight at some point. Um, so Layla, you may just have to hang on for a little bit, love. I've got you a bit down on my list, um, but Dave, I'm just gonna ask around health. Uh, compensation will settle on how many more surgeries, okay. I don't know if I can do all of that, Dave, because it is just uh, sort of one question, but uh, compensation and uh, surgeries, let's ask around that, compensation and surgeries, which card deck do I want to come to? going to do fairies, Dave, for that, uh, compensation and surgery. So let me just ask around that and see uh, what we can get around that, um, settle on how many more surgeries, Dave. Um, let me ask around that for you, mate. Come over here. Dave, uh, just watch your alignment um, at the moment. What it actually feels like I'm a little bit out of sync, and this is physically. Um, I realize you've got a lot of injuries and it's probably part of the process, but I feel like when you're, um, you know, if you're still doing physio, that sort of thing, I feel like I want to watch my alignment. Uh, it feels like it could be a little bit out of whack and a little skew if at the moment. Compensation and surgeries is what I'm asking about though. Uh, Dave's had an accident um, a little while ago, so that's what I'm sort of drawing around. Um, so I know a little bit of background about that if you're just tuning in and wondering uh, how I know what's going on. Now, Dave, I'm just asking around surgeries, and what they're giving me is um, there's like three plus one or two plus one. So it's like um, either two major and then another one, or three and then another one, something like that. It's either two, two and one and three and one. Um, so see if that makes sense to you, because uh, I don't know the background. I don't know how many you've had, uh, but it does feel like plus one, plus one. So there might be another one um, is what I'm seeing, so plus one. Now, there's something going on in my abdomen um, with you. So that's abdomen, not so much solar plexus, but abdomen. Um, feels like, I don't know, nervousness or something like that. Um, agitation even, so a bit agitated, a bit frustrated, a bit fed up, something like that. Uh, seeing an abdomen at the moment too. So just be aware of that. That can be uh, not good for us health-wise, um, but it feels a bit agitated, you know, um, anticipation, but agitation is um, almost like hurry up, hurry up. That's sort of feeling for me, yeah. It's probably saying get to the point, Michelle. Get to the point. Hurry up and make your point. Um, let me just draw some cards, Dave. Love you. Really good. Doing really well. You've been through a lot, mate. You have been through the ringer. Um, all right, so just going to draw some cards. Now, Dave, I do also want to say, um, you know, ask for help. You know, you don't have to do it all on your own. Um, I feel like really ask for help. Really important. Um, wow, this is good. Really good. Past into now is doing some research. So sometimes these things make us look a little bit further. So I don't feel like I want to take everything at face value. Um, if someone sort of says something to me, I want to do a look a little bit deeper, delve a little bit deeper. That's past into now. So if there's a diagnosis or like someone's given me, you know, their expert opinion, I feel like maybe a second opinion will be good and that's past into now. So don't always believe everything. Boom, boom, boom. Um, take a little bit further. Um, ah, that's amazing. Amazing. Yeah, I mirror, Lorraine. So my left is your right. Um, so I mirror, I should have mentioned that. 
Um, yeah, beautiful. Love that. So that's good. Good confirmation. Thank you, Lorraine. Vegetarian, Dave. Vegetarian. So more plant-based for you. Give your solar plexus a rest. You know, I was talking about, you know, the feeling in my abdomen and sort of that area. Um, it does feel like a bit, um, like I want everything to hurry up. Come on, come on. You know, can we just do this? You know, that sort of thing. Just, you know, calm, uh, deep breaths and plant-based. So give that part of your body a little bit of a, um, a boost, you know, it helps digestive system and you know, all of that goes through the abdomen and stuff like that. It feels like that will be good for you. Uh, this is brand new. This is brand new, my friend. Um, so not doing things the way that we've done them before. Big lessons. We know that huge lessons for you moving forward. It's uh, new, new beginnings, new start, different. Um, now new home is here as well. So it uh, could be a move on the cards. That's your overall clarifier, uh, but new home is on the bottom of the deck. Let me just uh, have a look overall for Dave. Um, so know what I said before. Remember what I said, two and one or three and one. It feels like plus another one, plus another one. Um, they're only giving me plus one uh, though in terms of that. Um, now research, vegetarian, what do I need to know for Dave overall? Dave, I do feel, don't do some research. I do feel like asking more questions, asking more questions. Um, one of my knees is quite sore and I do mirror. Um, so my left knee is really achy under the kneecap. Um, so just keep an eye on that. Um, but I feel like maybe we need to ask some more questions. So I don't feel like I want to just have this, you know, prognosis or whatever thrown at me. I feel like maybe asking around, asking around, you know, different people, experts, that sort of thing, get a second opinion, uh, will be good is my vibe. Yeah. With the compensation, I feel like what I want to say is let go of control, take your foot off the accelerator a little bit. It feels a bit impatient for me. Um, expectations are blockers. So we want to make sure that we're not sort of blocking any of that energy coming back to us. I don't have the abundance card here, so I can't comment on amounts or anything like that. But it does feel take your foot off. It's a bit of pressure uh, on the situation and focus on something else. So distraction would be good. Um, but it feels like we're okay. We just need to not want to control, you know, the outcome and the situation and stuff like that. So hopefully um, that made sense for you. But watch that uh, knee. So my left knee is usually kind of your right uh, if we're mirroring. Um, and that's generally what I do when I'm online. Okay, Danny, uh, general. Danny, just going to come to you. Thank you, Dave. I hope that made sense. Danny's after some general. Um, oh, gosh, here we go. Sorry, just got to block a uh, troll. Oh, hang on. Is it a troll? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Oh, no. No, we don't have a troll. We're all good. Um, ah, right knee. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, so just, um, yeah, check on that, Dave. I, I feel that in your right, um, which is my left. So really just check on that. All right. Uh, glad that made sense. I can't believe that, Lorraine. That's such a good confirmation. Ooh, I'm in Aries. Yay. Um, Jackie, I am going to have a look at that. Jackie Wilson, move house. Um, you must have seen my comment about Dave and that house card, house move, question mark. Okay, let's have a look. Perfect. Um, Shazza, hello. Um, oh, Dave, Jason. What did Jason say? So grateful to have you here. Oh, you're so lovely. I just love you, Jason. You're fabulous. Fabulous. Um, oh, gosh, Colleen. Oh, gosh. Um, maybe private message me. Um, about that. That's, um, don't know that I can do too much in here. I will uh, do my best. Um, but I do have a couple of people ahead of you. So maybe just uh, PM me. Oh, no, 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 definitely not. Uh, Sharon, definitely not. Um, I don't think your phone, dropping your phone uh, impacted anyone. So that's all good. Um, Danny, general, just going to come to Danny. I'm going to move through a few people. We've got a few children who are waiting on board to have a reading. So much fun. Uh, children's well-being cards is what I got, folks, and also the spirit animal. So these are both by doctors, um, and they're beautiful, beautiful cards. So, um, yes, we will get to those very soon. We've got a few little kitties waiting on, and I'm sure it's their bedtime in some areas, depending on where you're watching from. Um, all right, Danny, just going to come to you now. So let's have a look at that. Danny, what do we need to know? This is just general. Danny, interestingly, I feel like I could uh, taste and smell better than what I am. Um, it could be related to smoking or something like that, but I feel like my sense of taste or something isn't quite right. Um, taste in particular. I feel like I could taste more intensely. It's funny. Um, that's going to say what they're showing me, but it feels like that. So either, you know, um, a smoker, a former smoker, something like that, but I feel like I taste more. Something about my taste buds is interesting with you. 
What I also see with you is quite um, go to woe in 10 seconds. It feels quite quick. It's like I make the decision and then I'm doing it. I'm going. Um, it's like that for me. Uh, go to woe in 10 seconds. It's very quick. Um, making decisions, boom, we're doing it. Um, so action is good. You know, that's solar plexus for me. Um, action is good. Just going to have a look at these. These are psychic reading cards. It's the phoenix uh, on the box. So it's usually um, bursting into flames, turning into little ashes, and then rising from the ashes. And what happens from that point? Um, okay, so let's have a look at that for Danny. Um, infinity. Wow, these are big, Danny. These are big. Infinity is life goes on. Um, it's a continuum. So it just goes around and around and around and around. Um, we keep coming back. Um, so life goes on. So looking at that, a bit of an understanding of that. It could be a bit of a spiritual, you know, awakening. Uh, numbers in the present. So that's usually an ability with numbers. Uh, it can be, you know, astrology, astronomy, and interest in that. You know, how numbers work, repeating numbers, stuff like that at the present. These are all quite spiritual. Um, that's an eight. So that's abundance. And then time. You've got three cards. Look at this, Danny. Look at this. Three cards with numbers, mate incredible um i don't know that that's ever happened in my history of reading now double three um is a strong strength uh three is strong holy trinity triangles all of that and that's double so that's uh, even stronger so moving before we've got great strength um we've got all numbers on these cards danny let me get an overall i'm not sure why we have so many cards with numbers on for you but let me get an overall message um yes Danny, I do feel up in head, up in head. Um, so it does feel quite um, analytical. You know, it's interesting because there's this couple of spiritual cards here, but it does feel at the same time a bit logical. It's like a, a like a balance for me. Um, it's like logical, but I also have some beliefs. Um, but numbers uh, are coming up for me. So it feels like numbers up here, numbers up here. So it does feel like an ability uh, with numbers, being able to calculate, you know, understand numbers, that sort of thing. Um, more than I can. I'm not very good at maths, but I do understand numbers. Um, it's not coming up so much as um, astrology or anything like that for me but it does feel an ability with numbers numbers in my head numbers in my head um, and also maybe starting to notice numbers repeating you know times number plates stuff like that um, but I feel like it's a little bit of a sign from spirit it feels like a gift for you it feels like you know we all have gifts we all have specialties we have things we do really well um, and for you I feel numbers you know working with numbers um, will be good but uh, numbers is what I see when I close my eyes sort of circling around in your head um, so Hopefully that makes sense. It's all about numbers though. It's funny. Time, I just want to see for you um, whether there's anything around that. Time waits for no one. What I was saying to you before is like, I mean, get up and uh, get up and go on, something like that. Get up and go. It's like zero to a hundred like that. So it's like time waits for no one is what I want to say. And I feel like, you know, it's a great hurry to kind of do as much as I can, tick as much of my bucket list as I can uh, before I die. So I feel like that with you. Hopefully that resonates. Um, Danny, that is you done. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. Amanda Orchard, family issues, will they be resolved? Um, Amanda, let me look at that. What do I want to do with family, family, family relationships? All right. I'm going to use my relationship cards. Um, no, that was no issue. Melinda, um, Mariana. You better just go through it. Ooh, Mariana, um, let me put you on. Everyone's giving me their star signs. It's so funny. It's so funny um, because I read, uh, I do mentorship with an astrologer. I teach people if you want to develop your gifts and discover gifts and stuff like that. I'm a teacher as well. Um, and I'm mentoring a lady who's an astrologer. And it's uh, ever since I connected to her, all of a sudden I'm seeing star signs everywhere for people and, you know, elements and all this sort of stuff. It's amazing. Um calling on a new beginnings for purchasing a new home, new home. Um, all right, so I'm going to look at new home. Um, and then there was a divorce in there as well. I'm sorry to hear that, Mariana. Um, that is not fun for anyone to go through. Um, all right, so Amanda Orchard, and I've got a few kids. I've got Grace Trilo, Julia, Chrissy, Yvette, Carla, Christiane, uh, Kate, and Jackie. And we've got some kids' cards uh, in there as well. Um, oh, okay, I have something. Danny's left me in um, suspense there. He hasn't finished his sentence, I don't think. Um, that's fabulous. I love how everyone's putting their star signs up. That's so cool. Love that. Danny, you haven't finished your sentence, I don't think. Um, but he says that's spot on, so that's good. Made sense. Excellent. Um, Mariana, you are on my list. Now, Amanda Orchard, Family Issues. I'm just going to have a look at... I love how everyone's putting 
pretty fair star size on there. That's so funny. Love it. Love, love, love. Um, all right, Amanda Orchard. So I get a bit excited. Get a bit excited. If you want to book a one-on-one, -on -one, there's a link in this post and you can click on that and uh, book now and that'll check my availability. I do reading healing combos, which are beautiful. $95 an hour and a half and you get a beautiful healing. I'm a Reiki and uh, Pranic Energy Practitioner. Uh, as I said, I do mentorship. I also teach Reiki. I'm a Reiki master. If you're on the Sunshine Coast and you want to learn, um, so more than happy, more than happy. Oh, Danny did comment. Uh, thank you. Um, perfect. No problem at all. That's what I'm here for. Uh, okay, Amanda Orchard, family issues. Let's have a look at family issues. These are the relationship cards, Amanda. So I'm just going to see what pops out here. Um, Amanda, what I do feel in your body is tension, uh, which is probably fairly obvious. Um, I do feel the tension in there at the moment. So there's a little bit of resistance. We've got to watch control. So similar to what I was saying to someone before, we never want to sort of try and control situations. Um, but I do feel like I just want to say that to you, um, just to let go a little bit. Uh, like I was saying to one of the other people tonight, I think it was Dave. Now, Amanda Orchard, family issues. Angel of fertility um, is usually around babies a lot of the time it's passed into now family it's family really um it can also be about creating you know creating new energy um sacral space you know new ideas new projects it can be that but it's generally around you know family children stuff like that so perhaps that makes sense for the situation you're in stress at the moment so that's what we're in at the moment that's in the present um so the red hair the stress uh that probably makes sense too as well that's another three um, so the good thing with this two and eight is 10, which is new beginnings. Um, and it can be standing alone, standing strong, uh, stress in the moment is uh, three and that is strength. So great strength, we're building strength, we're learning conflict moving forward. There is a little bit more of that to come. So we're not quite over there, but there's an 11, which is a master number, which is great. Uh, but again, it's the ones. So new beginnings and also standing strong, standing independent, um, united on your own uh so independent one um but that is good not a bad number not a bad number um there is a bit more conflict to come now parking angels asking for what you want now people forget sometimes we have spirit guides we've got angels we've got a spirit team all this stuff going on and sometimes we just forget they're there and we don't ask them you know for help so i feel like that's really important for you to ask what you want you know what's your best possible outcome what do you want out of this um put it out there and allow them to deliver that back to you. Um, Amanda, just going to come into this and see what the solution is. We'll uh, have a look forward for you. Yeah. Amanda, what I want to say, this is around, uh, you know, resolution and stuff like that, but it feels like taking a step back. Now, when they say take a step back, it means sometimes we get too close. Yeah, we've got things under the microscope. I'm looking too closely and all the stories intimately, all the details, all the drama. I feel like I'm a little bit too close. I want to take a step back. So not looking under the microscope, yeah, um, not in, in you know, um, really taking in every tiny little detail. I feel like I want to come back a little bit and get a wider perspective. So this could be, you know, chatting to a friend, getting a second perspective, you know, that sort of thing. But talking it over with someone because I feel like I'm just looking way too close and it's very difficult to see uh, solution, resolution when you are in that involved, you know, in the situation and the stories and the drama and all of that. Um, so I want to take a step back from that. Let me see what else is helpful about that. Um, okay. Payday is coming up for me. Uh, payday, finances, that sort of thing. Um, so it does feel like, you know, money uh, involved, but uh, payday is usually something coming, you know, um, an amount of money coming, you know, it's what we wait for, payday, get paid during the week. Um, but it feels like that. So an amount of money um, could be, you know, compo, I'm not sure, but it's a amount of money and they tell me payday. Um, so that's something around the finances. Okay, so Amanda, hopefully that makes sense. Um, but I think that will certainly the stress uh, on this side um, and the fertility in the past into the present and then conflict moving forward. It's a little bit more we've got to work through. Um, but I do feel like, you know, come back from, get a bit of a wider perspective. Um, Grace Strelo, relationship now. So I'm going to hang on to the same cards. And I'm coming to Julia and her 16-year-old son who has left home. Uh, and then I've got Chrissy, Yvette, Carla, Christian, Kate, Jackie, and uh, Mirana, I think it was, over the other page. Um, ah, okay. I see. I see. Danny's just explaining. <laughs> Hello, Shelley. Beautiful lady. Uh, Michelle. Big news for me tomorrow about work. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm losing my job. Whoa. Uh, Michelle, I'll put you on my list um, and I'll see. We do have a lot of people ahead of you. You know how I always overpromise. Um, but let me put you down because I can feel that that's a bit nerve-wracking for you, hey? And I just want to have a look ahead. 
uh, big news work. Let's put that down and just see uh, what I need to know about that. I'll do my best to get to you. Um, there are a couple of people in front of you, so uh, you'll have to be a bit patient. Uh, Grace Strelo, relationship now um, is what I'm looking at at the moment. Um, so let's have a look at that. Uh, 47 people watching. Hello. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. Beautiful aura. I'm being told. Beautiful aura. That's fabulous. Um, I do a lot of work on my energy and it is maintenance. Um, and that's what I teach, I guess, in mentorship is uh, it's all maintenance. Um, you know, we have to clean our energy up and make sure we're protecting ourselves. Um, it's very important. But I appreciate, Carla, that you noticed that. Uh, Grace Trino, relationship now, release is past into now. Now, what the release card is about is about hanging on to happiness, um, joy, laughter, all of those wonderful things and releasing stresses, worries, anything that could be holding us back and making us a bit heavier. So release is coming up. That's past into now. You're asking about my relationship at the moment. Um, so holding on to the good stuff, letting go of the bad stuff. So it means not dragging around all the baggage, um, having anything against, choosing against someone. Um, you know, it's like letting all of that go. We don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. Um, so let me have a look in the present and future for you. This is around relationships. Yeah. Um, look, I do feel to say, um, and look, I don't know, you know, yourself or your partner, so please don't judge me. Um, but I do feel to say I'm selling myself short a little bit. Now, that's not a criticism of your partner. It just means that I feel like I deserve a bit more. Um, so it is about your expectation, though. It's about your expectation for yourself and what you're willing to receive, Grace. So I feel like that's really important. In the present, it's a bit of a detox. Um, that's a double two, it's a master number. Uh, a bit of a detox. Now, two for me is a bit about nourishing, uh, giving back to yourself. So I feel like that's important in the present and it's a bit of a detox, yeah? So I feel like you may see things differently. One is letting go, letting go of anything I'm holding on to around him, you know, something I'm using against my partner, anything like that. Letting go of that, yeah? In the present, it's about letting go again. Detox is, is, is getting stuff out of your system that's not serving you. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of releasing with you, letting go of it. I'm even commenting about your partner at the moment. Harmony is what we come into. So there's a bit of work, yeah? There's a bit of work. So for you, because I can only talk to you, I can't talk to your partner. For you, it's about letting go of those things that we hold on to. You know, maybe we're using against them in an argument, stuff like that. Um, detox is for you physically, you know, health-wise, you know, getting rid of stuff that's not helpful. So externally, uh, internally, um, emotional, all of that with the balloons. Um, and then we're looking at harmony. So it's coming back into alignment. So I feel like there's a lot of letting go to allow the scales, that's a lady of justice in the sky, to come back into alignment. Now, bottom of the deck is manifestation which is creating, creating exactly what I want. So if it's the perfect relationship or a different relationship, put it down on paper, ask your guides, you know, ask angels for help with that, think in advance and let it go. So we're creating this, yeah? Um, so that's great. Grace, um, so we do the work and then we have Lady of Justice and everything is moving back into balance for you. Uh, Julie, I'm coming to you and your little son there, your little 16-year-old son. I say little, but oh my gosh, everyone feels young if they're in their 20s to me. I'm in my 40s. So uh, we're coming to your son, 16-year-old, has left home. I'm just going to see spirit animals. Yeah, spirit animals feel good. Uh, let's do spirit animals for your son and just check what's going on there. Um, and I have got both decks, so there are some other kids that I'm going to be reading for in a second. Uh, so we'll jump on there and have a look at that as well. <coughs> Melinda, Marlene, Tina, Mama G. Hello, Mama G. You've been here, um, I think, every week. It's great. Uh, Prue. Now, for all of those people who are sort of logging in at the moment, um, just note that I do start um, about an hour or 40, about 45 minutes ago. Um, so if you do want to come on, um, if you head on, you know, close to the start, uh, you're more likely to get a reading. Um, and by the end, I uh, tend to have a lot of people written down. But it's not to say that I won't come to you now. I do have to show you this, Julie, Julia, rather, uh, 16 year old son. Cheer up. It's come out twice. And I put it back in the deck kind of without really thinking. Uh, but Hummingbird. And that is raising vibrations. That is connecting into root chakra. So it's, um, you know, when we move, it affects our foundation, our feeling of, uh, you know, being grounded, belonging, stuff like that. And we have to reestablish that. So I feel like with your boy, it's about, you know, cheering up, raising vibrations, um, you know, being happy. That's passed into now. Um, and it feels like that's really important. Um, so passed into present, essentially. So raising vibrations. Um, the hummingbird is very quick. Their little wings vibrate uh, and move very, very quickly. Um, so it does feel like raising vibrations. So that can be through music. You know, music's really healing. It's good for raising vibrations, surfing. Um, any sort of outlet uh, is really good, but it's about raising vibrations at the moment. Um, so that's important because it's popped out twice. So I cannot ignore that. 
Now, let's see what we're looking at uh, for your 16 year old. Hmm. Okay, uh, perfect. Now, in the present, it's uh, you're beautiful as you are. Now, that's a little around the ugly duckling. Sometimes we don't have, um, you know, see our potential inside. Sometimes parents can see our potential. We don't always see it so much. Um, so that's seeing your potential. So that's the ugly duckling turning into the beautiful swan. Um, so you're perfect as you are. It does feel a little around self-esteem, though, for me, whether it's got to improve. It feels a little bit like that with your boy. Um, so realizing my potential and really seeing that, allowing that to shine. That is third eye. It's a little bit visual based on the color. Now, this is crown space, and that's family. That's the family pod. So it feels like family is still important to me. It doesn't feel like, you know, he's gone and I'm never going to see him again. It does feel family because that's the family pod. The dolphins stick together. So it feels like he's always going to be, you know, part of the family. He's not going anywhere entirely. Um, but it is family is important. And that is being able to work with others. That's teamwork, a team player um, as well, cooperating with others, being able to um, be compassionate, I guess. Um, but it is sort of teamwork more so. Um, surprising others with favors is doing something nice and unexpected. So it feels like that sort of kid to me, uh, doing things, you know, surprising, unexpected. Um, so that's nice, spoiling, uh, stuff like that. And that is solar plexus, that's the doing, the action card. So, uh, Julia, nothing to worry about as far as I can see, um, but maybe a little bit of self-esteem work and also know that, you know, family is important to this kid. Um, Chrissy Williams, career life purpose. Now let's look at life purpose for Chrissy Williams. Hello to everyone who is watching. Um, if you would like to connect one-on-one, -on -one, I am more than happy to, um, connect with you. Oh, good. Amanda. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Good. Definitely step back, love. Definitely step back. Um, oh, Carla. Yes. Great. Fur baby. Um, was, hang on, hang on. Lily. Lily. Let me put that down, sweetheart. Lily, um, little fur baby. We're coming to you very soon. Chrissy Williams is looking at life purpose for Chrissy. Um, got a few people written down, but um, if I see someone who really needs a reading, I will uh, jump ahead and uh, grab you. So I'll just test. I'll just test that with my spirit team and feel like uh, who I need to go to. Um, ah, beautiful, Grace. That's good to hear. Uh, a lot of good feedback tonight. Chrissy, just coming to you for life purpose. Chrissy Williams is coming to you for life purpose. Just going to use some lavender. If you're doing card readings for yourself and you want to enhance your ability to feel what cards you need to select, lavender oil. It's amazing. Uh, Chrissy Williams, just going to come to you. Chrissy, you've got lovely energy. Lovely energy. I'm just going to look at life purpose for you. Um, it does feel quite uh, quite open. Um, for some reason, what, what I want to say though, Chrissy, um, it's going to sound funny, is um, lymphatic drainage will be good for you. Uh, it's just coming up. And I almost feel like sometimes around, um, it's going to sound very Boys turn off, children turn off, but around, you know, chest area, chest area, lymphatic drainage, stuff like that in the shower. Yeah. Um, but lymphatic drainage is coming up. So I feel like that might be good. Um, it feels like, you know, freeing up energy, detoxing, stuff like that. First time I've ever mentioned that uh, on a Facebook Live. Uh, so you're a first. Um, now, creative expression. Yeah. So we're expressing ourselves creatively. Basically, what we're trying to do is get the energy flowing flowing. So um, that's moving into, you know, life purpose. We have to get the energy flowing first. So it means expressing myself, you know, through artwork, you know, putting pen to paper, writing, stuff like that, um, but creative energy. So using my energy slightly differently to get the flow happening, which can trigger new ideas, new projects, because that's stimulating your sacral chakra, which is room space, which is cool. Um, all right, Chrissy, career life purpose. Let's have a look at that for you. Oh, that's exciting. That's exciting. Uh, creative expression, number one, to get the flow happening. Now I did that to start my business i just offered free readings i'm like hey guys want a free reading i do free readings for three weeks and then i started um you know doing this as a side hustle um body work is in the present now that is uh physical so it can be massage energy work reiki pranic energy healing like i do um any of those sorts of the acupuncture acupressure anything really with the body but it feels like involving the body for me it can be tattooing as well uh but the body involved with that but it's energy healing physical therapy you know um uh uh, PT, I guess, sort of fits into that, but uh, working with the human uh, body. So leadership is taking charge. That can be stepping out of what I'm doing at the moment, yeah, or I'm a natural born leader. So it can have a couple of meanings, being a business owner, working for myself, stuff like that. Bottom of the deck is a clarifier, and that is travel. So that involves moving around. You know, it means being on the road after moving around, um, so on the go. So let me just see, uh, Chrissy, what we need to know overall for you, um, and then I will move on. 
Um, Chrissy, it's almost like take the blinkers off for me. It's like take the blinkers off and see the possibilities. Um, I do say to people, the grass is greener. You know, as a journalist for 21 years, I'm doing this now and I love life. It is fantastic. I get to meet amazing people, you know, help, heal, talk to. I mean, life could not be better. It's amazing. And I want that for you. And I feel like seeing the possibilities, looking a bit further at what's possible. Um, and there's some freedom in that. Yeah, some freedom in that. It feels heart space. What I want to say to you is go back to childhood. You know, feel into your heart because I feel heart. Um, what, did, what does your heart say? What did I want to do? It's helping others and healing others for you. I definitely feel hands-on. Um, so in some way, shape or form, whether that is kind of massage, manipulation, something, it's hands-on for me um, and working with people. Yeah. So take that on board. Leadership, a bit of travel, able to move around, maybe work out at different locations. Um, all right, Yvette Gobby, thank you for that. Um, it was a privilege to read for all of you tonight. Uh, son Eli, uh, relation, uh, yeah, children's well-being. Um, Yvette Gobby, just going to come to your son Eli. Ray, thanks for the stars. Appreciate that. Um, Shelly, I probably won't have time. And I'm so sorry for your loss, my love. Um, I won't have time probably to do mediumship. Um, because I'm coming up to time, but um, I am on for an hour each week. So if you come in, you know, next week, Monday, um, a little bit earlier, you know, an hour earlier, um, that would be amazing. Um, and I would love to connect to you. Um, Jody, beautiful. I love that. At auras, I love that. Um, I will try and get to you, Jody. Evette Gobby, Sunny Eli. Um, we are looking at that. I'm one with life. That's big. Yeah, that's a big big, profound child, yeah? Been around a few times, that's crown space, connect down to crown space with a little, oh my gosh, I'm an angel in the present. Insight and understanding. You've given birth to someone who's a little spiritual being, that's a third eye, um, which is amazing. So um, there is something going on here with this child. Um, these cards are flying out, by the way, you can see that I'm not drawing them. Uh, they're actually flying out and landing on the table. Now, uh, crown space and third eye is, is epic. Now, throat space is here as well, that's I'm original. Creativity flows in and around me. That's throat space, so yeah, throat space. Let me just have a look at these. Um, and I want to see what I need to know um, about little Eli. And then I'm moving on to Carla and her fur baby. So Eli, what do I need to know? What do I need to know about Eli? Yeah. Um, Eli's walked the earth before. This is definitely someone who's been around a lot. So it means uh, saying profound things. You know, when I say things, it's very wise, um, profound. I do feel like a seeker, and that means asking a lot of questions. So depending on, you know, Eli's age, um, we'll be asking a lot of questions, you know, driving you crazy. What's this? What's that? I need to know how everything works because that's kind of what that is. It's kind of what that is. It's a deeper understanding. Um, so I feel like that's really important for Eli's. So we need to be stimulated is what I'm going to say. We need to keep him busy with the mind, you know, active, give him, you know, books to read, stuff like that. I don't, I don't like to ask people to get on iPads because I don't, yeah, like that so much. Um, but, you know, research, answering questions, it's like I have to have a bigger understanding of everything. So moving forward, creative energy is really good because that means um, we're getting it out, you know, expressing myself. Um, is really important for Eli because it will be difficult sometimes to uh, fit in, you know, with my peers and stuff like that. So it's going to uh, help communication is being creative. It's going to help him speak more and communicate more. So it's almost like an art therapy sometimes. It can be like an art therapy. Not that he needs that, but it's like artwork allows kids to speak up, you know, and uh, have a voice. So I feel like that's really important for Eli to express himself because it'll be hard to fit in with. Uh, people, you know, sometimes it's a bit difficult. Um, Carla, um, I'm going to come to you with your fur baby, Lily. Lily, let's have a look at little Lily. Um, yeah, Shelly, definitely connect next week, sweetheart. Definitely. I have goosebumps, so I feel like there is a um, communication that wants to happen. More than happy. Um, but, yeah, just didn't want to uh, put your name down and get your hopes up. And, yeah. Um, so next week, please connect because I can feel the spirit um, energy um, around you. Or you can connect one-on-one. -on -one. There is a link to my page in this post. And click book now and figure out um, my availability and stuff like that. Um, so more than happy to do that. Hi, Rena. Hi. Rena and I just did uh, Reiki together. Rena learned Reiki with me on the weekend. Um, ah, beautiful, beautiful. Um, all right, Carla, uh, fur baby, just having a look at Lily, um, the little fur baby, just having a look at that. My little dog's just run in the room as well, which is good timing because we're talking about, oh, fur babies. Um, now, Angel of Nature ee, has come up, um, and that is grounding, uh, being present, getting back to nature. Now, what's interesting about this, I was just talking to a girl that I was reading for today about Ariel, the angel Ariel, because she looks after animals, nature, all of that. So that's what I associate that with. Um, and Ariel actually helped us, and I was telling the girl the story, helped us through the process of our um, previous dog when we had to put our dog down. Um, so Ariel actually helped us through that, and that's what that speaks to for me. And I was literally just having that conversation before I got online tonight. So that is amazing. Um, so let me just have a look over here and see if I can get some insight. 
Um, now, I do feel a bit um, physical. I'm getting indications. Good. Um, I do feel a bit uh, painful um, through kind of my shoulder blades. So uh, whether that was like an arthritis or just, you know, um, you know, whatever that is, it just feels a bit painful and it's in my shoulder blades at the moment. Um, I don't feel super goosebumps. I don't feel super mobile. I'm getting confirmation. Um, but I want to say angel, angel. Um, so whether I'm uh, sort of uh, Lily is sort of saying I'm an angel now, I'm an angel now, but it's angel. So it feels like watching over, watching over you. Um, and I feel like I've got my little wings. Oh, that's interesting. I've got the pain in my shoulder blades. That could be wings. Um, it feels like angel, I want to say, angel. So watching over um, you. So I feel like just notice that, notice her presence. Um, but it's like something about my shoulder blades and it feels like wings. Um, so becoming a little angel, yeah, uh, and watching over. Oops, what's that going um, I feel the presence, and I do feel like you do. When I say I feel the presence, I feel like you do. Um, so notice all this energy um, around, and it feels like around for me. Um, but it does feel like flying around, so you may feel the energy kind of up here. It's like, oh, what's going on up there? Because I feel like I've got wings. It's funny. Um, this doesn't happen all the time. Now, in the present, it's manifestation. So again, I'm creating exactly what I want. Um, and that feels like Lily may be helping with that because that's come up. So we can ask for our, you know, spirit family, past over loved ones and stuff to help with this, you know, creating exactly what I want. But Lily's definitely spending a bit of time uh, around you. Now, clairvoyance is an ability to see. That's visions and dreams. So just watch out because I feel like Lily could be visiting uh, in your dreams. Um, and that is because when I see uh, Lily flying around with the little wings, um, it actually feels like coming into bedroom. Um, so I feel like just noticing the energy. I feel like I'll be able to feel it in there. Uh, and it may be in dreams, you know, dreaming about Lily, seeing Lily, seeing her say goodbye, stuff like that. Um, but I feel like dreams is where I can communicate. So that's beautiful um, and strong, really strong energy around you. Um, Christiane, I'm just going to come to you for life purpose. Um, so Christiane, I'm just going to come to you for life purpose. Oh, she had arthritis. Yeah, it did feel a bit painful. Yeah, um, she's gorgeous. But I feel like it's weird for me because goosebumps, um, she's still here. Um, what I was feeling was like pain through my shoulder blades. And then I was like, angel comes up. And so I'm like, do I have wings? Is that what the pain is? But it did feel painful. Um, and arthritis is what came up. So that's good. Good. Um, she's doing okay. And she's uh, definitely hanging around. She's definitely hanging around you. She's not going anywhere. Um, all right. So 39 watching. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, now, just coming to Christian Furler Life Purpose. Just going to see what I need to know there. And uh, Carla, thank you. Your little fur baby is doing fine. Uh, so if you want to connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, there's a link in the post. You can click on that and book now. Um, I mentor. I do mentor people, teach uh, develop gifts and, um, you know, discover gifts and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and teach Reiki if you're on the Sunshine Coast and uh, do readings and healing. It's a bit of a combo, which is uh, nice. Nice to spoil yourself. Okay. Uh, Christian, life purpose. Trust is number one. Belief, um, you know, that what I'm doing is the right thing. So trust uh, is number one. Beautiful. I love that. Uh, options, lots of options at the moment in the present. So that's good. We're asking around life purpose. There are options. We don't have options. Not good. Uh, creative expression to get the flow happening. So same thing. It's kind of in reverse. It's like the other life purpose reading that I just did, but in reverse. So it's like the creative expression allows that to flow and the different things can flow in. Now, justice is on the bottom of the deck for me. What that actually speaks of is someone who is very good at uh, working with minority groups and things like that. It can be through legal aid, humanitarian, lawyer, you know, that sort of thing. Um, uh, family law courts. It's, it's getting justice with people who maybe don't have much of a voice. Yeah. So working with minority groups, it can be working with disadvantaged kids, things like that, uh, but justice for me. So that feels like we're heading uh, where we are heading with you. Um, now, Kate Fawcett, Layla, we've got kids cards for Kate and the kids. So Layla, um, Layla, I'm going to use spirit animal for you. Um, so it's going to come over here. Hi, Dale. Dale's just switched on. Hello. Uh, Shelly. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, I can't see any comments beyond Shelly, so hopefully people aren't commenting because I haven't seen anything for a little while. Um, if you are commenting, please let me know. I just can't see the comments at the moment, so hopefully no one else has commented. Um, Kate Falls at Layla and the kids. Let me just come into Layla and see what I need to know here. Layla, I do feel in your energy a little bit stressed in my tummy, a little bit nervous, whether it's like, oh, gosh, what's this lady going to say? Um, I do feel a little bit stressed and nervous in my tummy at the moment.
Just going to draw these ones. These are the special animal cards. So they all have little animals on them, which is lovely. Um, and this is for Layla. Now, number one is cooperating with others, and that's the dolphin. As I said before, that's about family. It's important to have family around um, and working in with others. So whoever my family is, um, it's working with them, uh, not against. Yeah. So past into now, important to work with my family um, who's around. Now, buffalo is uh, gratitude. So being grateful for what I have. Thank you, thank you, thank you, I appreciate this. Uh, my friend says, thank you, thank you, thank you more, please, which is cool. Um, so, you know, appreciating what you have and also asking for more to come in. Um, and that puts nice energy out there. So it means more nice stuff comes back to you. Um, safe and protected, it's a little round root chakra for me, feeling safe, secure, stuff like that. Um, oh, hello, Karen and mom, beautiful. Um, yeah, you are safe and protected. So that's coming into root chakra, feeling my, um, you know, feet on earth, grounded, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, so no worries about that, making sure you feel like that. If you don't, you need to speak up uh, and stand up for yourself. So that is being assertive. That's your needs and wants saying, I need this or I want this. It's important for you to do that. Stand up for yourself. So Layla, hopefully that made sense. Um, Jackie Wilson, thank you, Layla. It's so nice for you to tune in and watch. And thank you, Kate. It was so nice to see you today. Uh, Jackie Wilson, uh, house move, house move, house move. Let's look at that. Uh, Jackie, um, Dale, hello on my page. Um, so nice to see everyone. How beautiful is it? Um, it's been really warm where I am, very warm, uh, but lovely, lovely energy. Uh, Jackie Wilson, uh, how smooth is that happening? Let's have a look for Jackie, hey? Let's ask around that. Um, Jackie, I do feel like I'm anticipating it. Um, it does feel like this sort of nervous anticipation, eager, definitely eager to move. Um, now, I do also feel like it's... Um, whether this is a house I'm in at the moment uh, or what I'm moving to, but it feels like a, um, a staircase. It does feel like two story or, you know, split level or something like that for me. It feels like multi, uh, multi level for me. It also feels sort of like fireplace or something. So I feel like fireplace, it feels very nice um, and warm. So maybe a cooler climate, something like that. Um, but it does feel like a fireplace is involved here. Um, it feels like an area like a rumpus as well. Um, this could be the house I'm looking at, you know, if, if I'm describing the house you're in, great. Um, or this is the house I'm moving into. So it feels like rumpus, you know, room for a fireplace it does feel sort of split level to me um and quite uh, open on each level as well so uh let's have a look that's a bit of a description let's have a look at what the uh, cards say hopefully they confirm what we're talking about here um, something's coming up for you around sugar, whether it's uh, too much sugar, something like that. Um, I feel like watching sugar levels, blood glucose um, with you, so sugar is coming up. Uh, jelly beans come up. So sometimes that's an indication of like, you know, diabetes or something like that, um, but jelly beans are coming up for me. And the reference was uh, sugar. Now, uh, this is very good, very positive. Um, okay, so golden opportunities, number one, we're gonna take it. When, the, when it knocks, uh, we're gonna take it. So there will be an opportunity, so that's good. Um, she's in the water, water is flow, feminine, uh, going with the flow. Um, but that is something new coming in, uh, which is good, hopefully the move, because that's what I'm asking about. Um, Ishta is boundaries, so saying no to others' demands on your time and energy, not saying yes to everything. I feel like energy levels could be better, and uh, that's boundaries, saying no. Um, don't feel like it, gonna go to bed, sorry, bye-bye. Um, being strong. Now, prosperity, moving forward. So there's uh, financial flow. This financial flow. Um, so it does feel like, you know, abundance um, is usually about bringing something in. Uh, blossoming is on the bottom of the deck. It doesn't have the house here for me, but I'm seeing a house. So hopefully that resonates either way, either what I'm in or what I'm moving into, but blossoming is coming out. Um, this is me. Uh, shine, let myself shine. Uh, but prosperity does speak of something uh, flowing. So whether it's like, you know, the move would free up more cash or something like that. Um, but I definitely feel like there's an urgency or an urge in you to do it. Golden opportunity, so we don't want to miss that. Yemenya. Um, okay, so I do have to jump off very soon, but I just want to connect to these ladies. Mariana Mary, new home um, after divorce. So I'll use the same cards, Mariana. Um, they can be good for me. And I'm just going to connect to your energy and see what's going on. Uh, Mariana, what I want to say is uh, throat space for you. It does feel um, uh, a bit tight, a bit raw um, for me. It doesn't feel super blocked, but it just feels a bit raw for me. A um, bit of motion going on. I also feel in my uh, abdomen, which is sacral, um, like a bit tense in there. So just watch that because sometimes you'll feel it when you're lying down. You're like, ooh, yeah, it feels a bit heavy or a bit of a you know heaviness in my through my uh, abdomen, solar plexus, that sort of thing. Uh, but especially abdomen, I feel very tense, uh, whether I'm holding on to something in there. Uh, let me just draw these cards and see. 
as we sort of wrap up for tonight. Thank you everyone for watching. And if you do feel to connect, I would love to connect with you. I will stay online as well. If you want to uh, have a conversation, if you want to ask questions, anything like that, um, I do stay online. So I'm more than happy to uh, have a chat after the show. Ooh, these are good. These are fabulous. Uh, now, wow, 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 Mariana. I hope you're watching still. Um, Cordelia is going outside, doing some grounding. Yeah, coming back down to earth. Sometimes when we are thrown out of whack, you know, we're going through a lot of stuff, we forget to ground and we're off in the off with the fairies. Um, so we really need to come back down and earth, re-earth ourselves. Um, now, it's going to be worth it. Prosperity in the in the present. So it's the same thing. It just feels like getting into the flow, getting into the vibe. Yeah. So I definitely feel like you know, same same. This has come up with the house again. So it feels like something around that. Whether we have something to sell, we can make money out of that, or something like that. Um, but it does feel like that. The prosperity. So that's usually like a compensation, or you know, when we separate, like we get some money, something like that. Um, but the prosperity is in the present, so it feels like that's good. Now moving forward, it's not the last relationship I'm in. It's not the last relationship. Guinevere, Arthur, King Arthur, true love, amazing. You know, not everyone gets that card. So there's another person for you. Inner goddess, Aphrodite as well. So big love, big love. It's a reawakening for you. This is awesome. This is putting you in a position where you love yourself more. It's about you now giving back to yourself and allowing someone else to come in. And true love is coming. So it's not the last relationship you're going to be in. So that's awesome. Congratulations. Um, prosperity would indicate, you know, because the house card um, that came up twice when I asked about houses. So it would indicate, you know, the money coming and potentially, you know, being able to afford, enough to afford, you know, something else. Um, but the house card itself wasn't uh, there. Michelle Amborgo, um, big new work. I don't know why I wrote big new work down. Uh, Michelle, if you're still there, um, let me know what that was because I can't remember what I wrote down. Um, hello, Kasha. Hello, Colleen. Um, big new work. I'm not sure what big new work was. Oh, big news. It was big news, wasn't it? You had something you had to wait for. Michelle Ann Borgo. All right, I'm just going to do Michelle Ann Borgo very, very quickly. Um, and then, yeah, if you want to connect, I will stay online and answer all your questions. If you have any questions, uh, big news at work, Michelle. Um, if you missed this, then you can watch it back and you'll know, whoa, what I'm talking about. Um, Lordy, Lordy, they all just went everywhere. All right, let's have a look. Michelle, news, work. Let's see. Uh, Michelle, what I want to say is a new day is dawning. It feels like new energy for me, um, a new day is dawning. So it feels like maybe a new opportunity. It could be um, could be a change, it could be a shift, uh, but new day dawning. Um, it doesn't feel super dire. It doesn't feel like the end of the world. Um, you know, these things are blessings. If it is, you know, whatever, you know, whatever it is. Um, oh, look at that. That's good confirmation. Michelle, I hope you watch this back if you're not online at the moment. Career change, yeah? So it feels like something different. New day is dawning is what they're giving me. I'm gonna was gonna write that down, but I don't need to because we're finishing up. Uh, speakers passed into now, so that's using your voice. Yeah, a little bit more communication, uh, presenting, being in front of people, oration. Um, really good, good. So practice, you know, using that. Uh, books in the present, so that's reading. That can be study, uh, research, do some research, get um, you know, brush up in your knowledge. Um, so it could be something different moving forward. Uh, and then children, working with children is part of your life purpose. So that is uh, childcare, teaching, you know, all sorts of things, social work, you know, anything like that. But uh, working with kids is important, you know, family daycare, whatever it is, uh, early child childhood, um, children is part of your life purpose. And then it's career change there. So there is a shift coming, new day is dawning. Um, so it does feel like there could be um, a new direction uh, heading forward for you. Uh, beautiful, Michelle. So hopefully you heard all of that career change was there. All right. So that is me done. Um, as I said, if you want to connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, more than happy to have a chat tonight. Uh, if you want to book um, Michelle uh, Price, the light worker on Facebook, as the uh, logo here suggests, and there's a link in this post, you can click on that and uh, connect with me and let's have a chat. Let's meet up. Um, otherwise, I'll see you this time next week on Monday. Chat soon. Bye. <laughs>